Quentin Lowry. I'm going to be showing you a quick start guide to the Team Manager software. First, you're going to go into your Start, and you're going to go to your Softing folder, and then you're going to open up your X ATM Manager. You want to make sure that your IP scheme of the laptop that you're trying to connect to your team manager with matches the IP scheme of the team manager. Mine's 192.168.1.5 and you can see that my team manager is 192.168.1.100. You're going to go ahead and click connect. It's going to ask you for a username and password. The default will be admin and the password's also admin. This is the status bar, so if you've had any errors or anything, this won't be a green check mark. If you go over into administration, you'll have the general tab where you can change the name of the appliance or put a description with it. If you go into network, this is where you configure your ethernet ports. There are two unique ethernet ports. The idea behind that is one's for the automation network and the other's for the IT business network. There's also network diagnostics for if you're trying to see if you have connection to something that's on the network. Um, you can ping from here, so if you're trying to ping your database or some other PLC. In the system, you can do a backup. There's a complete backup, similar to how Rockwell does their backups, and then there's a transaction configuration, which is your projects. In time management, you can use a variety of sources. If you have an NTP server on your network, you can use it. Or if you want to sync to one of your PLCs, it's time you can use that. Um, for mine, I'm just going to use my local computer time. Then I'm going to set it. Under license management, you look and see what all adapters or licenses you have for your team manager. So if you're wanting to talk to a Microsoft SQL database, you will need the Microsoft SQL license. Um, if you're wanting to talk to a PLC over Ethernet and you're not going out a Rockwell Ethernet bridge, you would need the Ethernet IP license. This is where you can configure your logs for your transactions in your system. There's update for any firmware revisions we have. You don't have to pay for those. They're free on the website. This is where you configure different users. So you can make a user have an administrator role which has access to everything. If you want them to be an IT slash network administrator, they only have access to that. They can't do anything with the PLCs or the PLC tags. And also vice versa, if if you're setting up a user and you only want them to have access to the automation side and not be able to do anything with the SQL databases, you can configure that user as well. Now we're going to go into projects where you configure your transactions between your PLC and your SQL Server database. If you have a topic you would like covered, please leave it in the comments section below.